Hi, I am here to give you some most important solved multiple choice questions on research methodology for Kerala PLC HSST examination and for UGC net examination. I am Abbas Vatoli, Assistant Professor of Commerce, Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilambu. 1. Inquisitiveness is the mother of all knowledge. The method which man employs for obtaining the knowledge can be termed as research. Studies with an objective to gain familiarity with the phenomenon or to achieve new insights into it is termed as formulative research. 3. Studies with objective to portray accurately the characteristics of a particular individual situation or a group is called exposed factor research. 4. Studies with objective to determine the frequency with which something occurs or with which it is associated with something else is called diagnostic research. The main characteristics of descriptive method is that the researcher has no control over the variables. Action research aims at finding a solution for an immediate problem facing a society or an industry business organization. Basic research is mainly concerned with generalizations and with formulations of a theory. Motivation research is an important type of qualitative research. Conceptual research is related to some abstract idea or theory. Empirical research is characterized by the experimenter's control over the variables under study and his deliberate manipulation of one of them to study its effects. Simulation approach involves the construction of an artificial environment within which relevant information and data can be generated. Market research is the investigation of the structure and development of market for the purpose of formulating efficient policies for purchasing, production and sales. The researcher may review two types of literature, the conceptual literature concerning the concepts and theories and empirical literature consisting of studies made with earlier which are similar to one proposed. All items under consideration in any field of inquiry constitute a population. Sampling design is a definite plan determined before any data are actually collected for obtaining a sample from a given population. When population elements are selected for inclusion in the sample based on the ease of access, it is called convenient sampling. In some instances, the most practical way of sampling is to select every 15th name on a list, every 10th house on a one side of a street and so on. Sampling of this type is known as systematic sampling. If population from which a sample is to be drawn does not constitute a homogeneous group, then stratified sampling technique is applied so as to obtain a representative sample. Quota sampling is an important form of non-probability sampling. Under area sampling, we first divide the total area into a number of smaller non-overlapping areas, generally called geographical clusters. Then, number of these smaller areas are randomly selected and all units in these smaller areas are included in the sample. Sequential sampling is somewhat a complex sampling design where the ultimate size of the sample is not fixed in advance but is determined according to mathematical decisions on the basis of information yielded as survey progress. 22. In practice, several of the methods of sampling described above may all used in the same study in which called mixed sampling. Under scheduled method, data are collected by filling up the schedules by enumerators on the basis of replies given by the respondents. If the researcher had no hypothesis to start with, he might seek to explain his findings on the basis of some theory. It is known as interpretation. 
Diagnostic research studies do not start with a problem or hypothesis. Their problem is to find a problem or the hypothesis to be tested. Phenomena which can take on quantitatively different values even in decimal points are called continuous variable. Whatever effect is noticed on dependent variable as a result of extraneous variables is technically described as experimental error. 28. One important characteristic of a good research design is to minimize the influence of or effect of extraneous variable. 29. In experimental researches, the term control is used to refer to restrain experimental conditions. The different conditions under which experimental and control groups are put are usually referred to as treatments. The studies concerning whether certain variables are associated are examples of diagnostic research studies. Most of the social research comes under a descriptive research study. The study of experimental designs has its origin in agricultural research. The basic assumptions in after only with the control design is that the two areas are identical with respect to their behavior towards a phenomenon considered. Factorial designs are used in experiments where the effect of varying more than one factor are to be determined. Simple factorial design is also termed as two-factor factorial design. Systematic bias results from errors in the sampling procedures and it cannot be reduced or eliminated by increasing the size of sample. 38. Sampling errors decreases with increase in the size of the sample. 39. The measurement of sampling errors is usually called the precision of the sampling plan. When each sample element is drawn individually from the population at large, then samples are drawn is known as unrestricted sample. The law of statistical regularity states that if on an average the sample chosen is a random one, the sample will have the same composition and characteristics as the universe. 42. If there is a hidden periodicity in the population, systematic sampling will prove to be an inefficient method of sampling. Nominal data are numerical in name only because they do not share any of the properties of the numbers we deal in ordinary arithmetic. 44. In nominal data, we are restricted to use more as the measure of central tendency. The appropriate measure of central tendency of an ordinal scale is median. Generally, all statistical techniques are usable with the ratio scale. Validity refers to the extent to which a test measure what we actually wish to measure. 48. A. Reliable measuring instrument does contribute to validity. B. But a reliable instrument need not to be a valid instrument. Answer. Both A and B are true. 49. The name of Thurston is associated with the differential scales which have been developed using consensus scale approach. 50. If the observations takes place in the natural city, it may be termed as uncontrolled observation. Warranty cards are usually postal sized cards which are used by dealers of consumer durables to collect information regarding their products. Pantry audits technique is used to estimate consumption of the basket of goods at the consumer level. Projective techniques are sometimes called indirect interviewing techniques. Case study method is essentially an intensive investigation of the particular unit under consideration. 
The term analysis refers to the computation of certain measures along with the searching for patterns of relationship that exist among data groups. Coding refers to the process of assigning numerals or other symbols to answers so that responses can be put into a limited number of categories or classes. Classification based on qualitative aspect is said to be classification according to attributes. In inclusive type of class intervals, the upper limit of a class interval is also included in the concerning class interval. When the phenomenon under consideration happens to be a discrete one, that is, can be measured and stated only in integers, then we should adopt inclusive type classification. Inferential analysis is often known as statistical analysis. Thank you for watching.